Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit it is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440 OHIO RVS. For sale today, we have a 2000 Road Trek 190 Versatile with 68,944 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2000 Road Trek 190 Versatile. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We go through all of the stuff on the chassis and inside the RV, go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. If you're wondering about the difference between the Road Trek 190 Popular and 190 Versatile, we do have a comparison video for those two models. I'm going to put a link to that here on the screen as well as in the video description. You can check that out and see if you can uh, decide which one might be right for you. So typically we'd have four seats up here on the Versatile. This one has been removed. Got some discoloration there where the seat would have previously been. The front two seats both swivel. You can make a small bed. There's some examples of those small beds in the Road Trek 190 Popular versus Versatile video. We've got three seat belts up front. There's none in the rear, so we've got a total of three seat belts on this unit. Got a window with a screen on the lower portion here. Got cup holders. Got a curtain for privacy. A little storage rail up top. Nice, easily accessible entryway. You got a lot more space now having this seat removed. Got your fire extinguisher, got a AC plug in there, another cup holder, a little storage pocket in the door. These windows both open with screens. The mechanism to open those are behind the little gray flaps. Got some more storage space in the rail up here. Got your levels test for your propane, your holding tanks, and your coach battery. The holding tanks are notoriously finicky, so don't trust those. Water pump on off, that pumps the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. Coach battery disconnect that disconnects the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. Also disconnects the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the alternator while you drive, or the generator. Got your water heater on off that ignites itself. Porch light switch, start stop switch for the Onan 2800 generator. Has a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan Tex. Has 43 hours. This runs off the fuel tank. We'll stop running around a quarter tank. Got about 72 inches of headroom here in the main part of the coach. Got a fantastic fan in the center. This acts like an attic fan at night, brings the cool outside air in. It can also be the exhaust fan for your kitchen or for your bathroom, which is in here. We'll check that out momentarily. Got a drawer here. This wet, dry basin is where you're going to stand to take your shower. Everything's going to drain there into that drain. We got our stool there and your controls for your shower head. Some storage over top. So you're gonna pull that curtain around the track, shower right here in the center of the coach. We got a privacy flip out here on this door that you can flip out. And also here on this door to create somewhat of a room in the center of the coach. Nice big mirror on those doors. Got a microwave, this runs on your shore power plug-in or your generator only. Hood light and fan. Got aluminum backsplash, AC plug-in, two burner propane cooktop. Got a standard sink, got a little taller faucet there. Got a window back here, does not open, but we got this curtain for privacy. Got a three-way fridge freezer here. This is a three-way, meaning it runs on your shore power plug-in, your generator, or propane gas. It's controlled via the switches on the front. There's directions in the bottom of the box there to help you out.
Got your air conditioner there that runs on the shore power plug-in or the generator. It's controlled via the buttons right on the unit itself. That's plugged in there. Got a screen window on the rear. You can pop that open using the mechanisms behind those flaps. Got a screen portion on the lower here. Got curtains for privacy. Got a screen portion on the lower over here. Got 110 AC power back here. Also got 12 volt DC power. So here in the versatile, these are a little different than the popular. Uh, you're more so gonna possibly be able to sleep like this if you're shorter. If not, you can use this table and the cushions here to make up the big bed. I'm gonna go and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like made up and get some measurements. The two separate couch sleepers measure approximately 19 inches wide and 52 inches long. However, if you make up the big bed, it measures much larger at 52 inches north, south, or front to back, and 72 inches east, west, or side to side. The water heater and additional storage are located beneath the couches. Here we are sitting in the rear of the road trek. What is Sherlock Holmes' favorite protein source? Mystery meat. Got an AC plug in here. We've got our fuse panel down here and we've got the propane furnace down here by my feet. Got a little discoloration here on the cabinetry screw hole over there got the curtains you can pull across up top got your manuals in there you can also open this one up here get some more storage up front get some sunglasses things like that so all in all, we've got a nice little road truck here. Got the all black exterior, very stealth looking. Got some discolorations like this thing here and such throughout on the inside. <clears throat> Nothing that affects the fun or the usability. Got this chair removed. Again, nothing that affects the good times you can have in this unit. Everything's fully functional. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale. I'm gonna call this one an eight out of 10. Mostly due to just some of these discolorations. I feel like I got to ding it some for missing that chair. Again, nice little road trek. Good looking on the outside. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. Got a glove box here, some storage here with your cup holders. This is a GPS. Got nice clean upholstery. Not see any burn marks, no stains, tears, or funny smells. It's tough to say for sure. The cigarette lighter's unused, so I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. We do have some staining here on the carpet. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2000 Road Trek 190 Versatile. This RV measures 19 and a half feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 3418 date codes. This Road Trek is built on a Dodge Ram 3500 van with a 5.2 liter V8 engine with 68,944 miles. We got a fresh paint job on this unit. This had some of the typical Dodge from this era uh, where the white paint starts flaking off pretty much all around the unit. So rather than to repaint the whole thing white, we decided to go black with it. Has a very nice stealth look, no decals. Get your furnace exhaust, back of the water heater. Got the clips here for the awning. The legs are inside the awning itself. However, I'd run those straight to the ground if it were mine and put a tent stake in those. That way nobody can walk through here and break your awning leg. Got your air conditioner coming out the back of the unit here. Got a tow package. Coming around to the driver's side. Got your fuel fill for your engine and your generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank. The other thing on the right there is for filling your propane tank. The propane tank is located up underneath the RV down below. The generator is also underneath there. Got a ladder here to get up to this roof rack for skis. If you're a snow skier, water skier, kayaks, something adventurous like that at the back of the refrigerator. Got your outside shower, your city water connection. That little porthole in the bottom is to run your hose or your power cord through. That power cord is attached to the RV. Got some of your water goodies there. Got a light down here. Got your sewer dumps here. 
get your black and gray valves. So you'll pull your black first, which is your toilet, and then your gray, which is your sink and shower. Really nice looking road truck here, ready to hit the highway and have some fun.